big tornado kind of bumbling towards us. So I'm running to the back and then doors are being blown off. So we run into the bathroom. Tonight, a tornado has been confirmed in Slidell. Residents are working to clean up after businesses, uh, homes, apartment buildings, and more were all damaged. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Cherie Gibson. Behind us, you can see that path of destruction across Slidell. Now, recovery efforts are underway. Amelia Strahan joining us now live. Amelia, how do things look behind you right now? So we are at Old Spanish Trail, and this is kind of the area that got hit the hardest. So I'll, I'll show you around. Um, as you can see, there are dozens of trees down. There's a lot of brush right behind those trees. It's an apartment complex. On this side, the roof was completely ripped off by that tornado. And then over here, part of it was ripped off as well. And this is really just part of it, just the main strip. Um, the surrounding neighborhoods had a lot of issues as well. And just a couple of blocks away, I spoke to some neighbors on Duncan Street, and they received a lot of damage, but they said that they are looking forward to rebuilding together. And then I stepped on nails, and they uh, went off the oil. Janice Brunel was dropping her husband off at work when she got the call from her neighbor Jennifer. I was sobbing coming down the street because I didn't know what happened. A tornado touched down inside Elle, ripping the roof off of her home. It sounded like a train coming down. Severe weather swept the entire New Orleans metro area on Wednesday, including a powerful tornado which landed in Seidel around 10 in the morning and left a trail of destruction behind it. It did take our roof down um, all inside of our house, our laundry room and everything like that. So that's devastating. Parish officials described the damage as catastrophic. This has been a catastrophic event for the city of Slidell. But Jennifer and Janice have a different perspective saying they're ready to rebuild and come back stronger. It's okay, everybody's okay, the dogs are okay, the neighbors are okay. So we all feel pretty lucky with that, you know. It's just the rebuilding part. According to the neighbors, they're veterans at recovering from storms. It feels like Katrina all over again. They say they're part of a resilient community. It's definitely gonna take some time to rebuild, but um, we will be rebuilding, that's for sure. And city leaders agree with them. We will put this back together and it will be better than it was whenever we got here, whenever this happened this morning. We will come back strong, I promise you. It's the spirit that, of, of our community we've always had. And if you or anyone you know had stormage damage today and you need somewhere to stay, the city has opened Creekside Junior High as a shelter. Reporting live from Slidell, Amelia Strahan, WWL, Louisiana.